Hello, welcome to the Friday, April 6, 2018 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Orlando, Florida. Russ today wrote a great diary for Blue Teams, and what he did was he used the APT simulator, which is a tool that simulates various behavior that's typically associated with the advanced persistent threat, and then took a look at how Helk, the hunting elk stack, is actually helping detect these threats. So this is a great exercise for you to run to figure out if you are actually able to detect with whatever solution you are using these attacks and this anomalous behavior that APT Simulator does introduce into your systems. Now, one big advantage of APT Simulator over, for example, a full-blown pen test is that it's a lot simpler and in some ways safer because it really more or less just simulates the bad behavior. It does doesn't actually damage any systems or introduce any new vulnerabilities. Helk, the hunting elk stack, does offer you dashboards and reports that are specifically tailored to find these types of attacks. So what Russ found is that it actually worked pretty well. Now, Helk at this point is still considered a beta software, so there is hopefully still a lot of improvements going to come, but according to Russ's experiment, it actually already performs quite well. So as part of your next blue team exercise, uh, this may be a nice little tool to introduce to see how well you are performing. Now, typically I don't talk much about breaches on this podcast because often there is really not much new to be learned from the public announcement. This one I cover because I think it really does touch on a couple of very current issues. The company being breached here is 24-7 AI. Now, you may not be familiar with the company, but they provide chatbots, which have become really popular, but you have instant messenger systems that automatically interact with clients and allow things like purchases or customer service requests. Now, in this case, the problem were purchases. Apparently, 247.ai was breached, and as a result, credit card data being communicated to the chatbot was stolen. Now, while 247.ai is not necessarily a household brand, many of the companies affected certainly are. For example, Sears and Delta Airlines are customers of 24-7 AI and as a result customer information from these companies got leaked. So one of the lessons learned here is that first of all you have to be really careful if you do allow vendors like this to interact with your customers and collect personal information. And then secondly if you are dealing with payment card data then of course you may want to compartmentalize that further and not just log it and include it in your standard chat protocols or whatever you're using to collect this data. The exact cause of the leak is still under investigation, but according to some news reports, 247.ai was infected by unspecified malware. And then we have yet another cryptocurrency related news item. Now, often when we talk about cryptocurrencies, we're talking about uh, vulnerabilities in wallets or in crypto coin exchanges. This is uh, one of the few cases where actually the cryptocurrencies algorithms themselves were insecure and led to exploitation. The cryptocurrency in question here is Verge. Now, Verge is not very widely known, but about one of the top 20 or 25 cryptocurrencies currently in circulation. And the problem here was that miners were able to backdate their mining results. And in doing so, they were essentially able to fake mining results without exerting any actual work. It looks like so far uh, this vulnerability was used to create about 1 million US dollars worth of new Verge crypto coins. Now, the organization behind Verge decided to actually fork the cryptocurrency and essentially undo everything that happened within the blockchain over the last few days. 
As typical for blockchains, it's not possible to undo individual transactions. Instead, what they're essentially going to do is they're just going to start over with a backup from a few days ago and then restart the blockchain at that point using an updated and improved algorithm that no longer is susceptible to this vulnerability. Of course, the price of Verge did decline substantially as a result of this attack. It's not really clear when the patch will actually be rolled out and when this rollback will happen as a result. Well, and that's it for today. So thanks again for listening and talk to you again on Monday. Bye.